Miss Darby from RejoiceAndCreate.com and today I have a very quick little project for you for Valentine's Day and it's this. There is a heart-shaped lollipop in there and if you recognize the fold of the little pocket it's actually what they call a um, diaper fold pocket or a triangle folded pocket and it starts out with a square piece of paper. Um, I, this is not my original idea. I actually saw a bigger one where they started with a 6x6 six six piece of paper for a larger lollipop and you can adjust them to size but the lollipops I'm using are either the tiger pops which are very cherry and they look like this and you get 22 pieces for a dollar at the Dollar Tree so it's pretty economical or it will also work with these which are the Dum Dums pops and they're also shaped like hearts and there's a few different flavors and I got these actually at five below and there are 30 pops for three dollars so they're pretty still pretty economical and I'm sure you can find them at some of the other uh, bigger stores where they do sell the Dum Dums pops normally to give the Valentine's one so that's about the size of the pop we'll use for this particular project and the pop itself is probably about let's see the lollipop part is about inch and a half by about an inch and a half so it's about inch and a half wide and inch and a half tall and we'll go ahead and use this one because if it has too much of the wrapping around it we'll just trim that one down a bit and I'll show you how I did that so this one was a paper that was um, from Stampin' Up and it was one of the um, in color papers I believe with the little heart on there for stamped this one was actually I did some cardstock and you can do cardstock it's a little bit tougher to fold crisply but I went ahead and used some cardstock and I actually used a glittery stripe that was from a Christmas collection leftover but looks Valentine's to me this one I actually made out of vellum I had some of the uh, vellum left over and that's also an old Stampin' Up! one and I put a glitter heart on there and the Bless Your Heart is from the Jar of Love collection I just used a little Bless Your Heart and cut it out on a little banner by hand and this one I created it has a circle on there and the yummy in my tummy was actually a retired Stampin' Up! as well and that was the yummy in my tummy and I just used that one and punched it out with a circle but they're all created the same way and you can actually make them for masculine or feminine looking uh, this one is a bless your heart and I had a retired uh, go wild collection which I used for a little bit mas more masculine version of this so today I'm actually used another retired uh, paper which is sending love and this is traditional Valentine's colors it's the real red and the white so we're in red and white and also I punched out a heart and this heart is about one and three quarter inches wide by uh, one and five eighths of an inches uh, one and one and a half inches tall so approximately that size works really well but you can experiment to see what you have that will work with there as well and for this happy Valentine's stamp I stamped with my favorite things greeting which was sending smooches and it was made to be uh, used with the lip balm uh, pockets so it, there's some really cute sayings on there but the one I used was just the happy Valentine's Day so you can look around what you've got and see what will work because they'll go together very quickly and if you're using them for classroom treats or even coworker treats they'll be taking the lollipop out and, and uh, enjoying the lollipop and the rest of it may not be saved it may be thrown in the garbage but it will be a nice little gesture of friendship when you make it for them all right so we're going to start with a four by four inch piece of paper and whatever uh, sentiment heart or circle or whatever shape you want to punch and we'll just quickly go through a diaper fold so just take your paper and fold it in half diagonally and we're going to put the dark red out so you have it folded in half diagonally and I like to line my diagonal up on a, my grid paper so when I turn this this way and I touch that point to this side I can make sure that this line is parallel to this line you can just eyeball it it's really not that big of a deal so go ahead and do that and then just match up this point across the top here to that one and go ahead and flatten out all those folds very well now when you fold your top down it will hold together but at this point I like to just throw a little a glue dot right under the second flap like that 
So then go ahead and fold down that front triangle flap. And you can't, you may or may not, you don't have to put one in there because we're going to be putting the other heart over the top of it. And I would just open it up and kind of run my finger to give a curve to that front. And there's our little diaper fold pocket um, made out of a four by four inch piece of paper. So to get my pop in, I just take a hand punch and you can do one eighth inch or one quarter inch. And right in the center of the bottom, just nip a little hole in there. See, I don't know if you can see, it's just barely, just a barely little hole in there, but just enough to get my pop bottom through. And how I like to do the bottom of my pop is, if it's way too much paper around there, I go ahead and cut just a little bit of it off, because this is sealed all the way around, so I can, I can nip off a little bit of it. And what I'll do is I'll cut up to the stick on that side, cut up to the stick on this side, and just twist that little extra piece of paper off, or wrapper off. And if there's too much on the top, I'll just even up, even up the little top one across too, just by cutting a little straight across the top. So now what I'll do, before I put it in there, is I'll go ahead and fold my bottom corners up, and I'll fold my top corners down. And you can fold the top down if you want to at this point to make a nice little heart shape. And then I'll just tuck it in and stick that stick right through the hole I've created in there. So it's right tucked in like that. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll make sure that the, the pop is snug down as far as it can go and I'll take another glue dot and I'll put another glue dot right here, right where the paper meets the stem and I'll tie a bow. And what I'm using is either 1 8 or a 1 quarter inch ribbon that coordinates with it, whatever I have. And I'm just gonna tie a little knot. You can tie a bow if you want. I wanted to save on uh, my ribbon so I can make a bunch of them from one from whatever I had left all right so and because the glue dot is there when I tie this ribbon up I'll just make sure I have that ribbon pushed up into that glue dot so it sticks and then I like to cut a nice little angle on both sides And then I like to put my heart on. And you can see I'm using a heart that's the opposite side of the paper. But a quick little tip, if you're using it and it kind of blends in too much, like you can't see the heart, I can kind of see it here, but I think it might blend in a little bit too much. I'll just take my black marker and I'll put a little stitching line around it. And that helps it pop out just a little bit more when I put it on there. Now, because I have a curve on the front of my uh, lollipop holder, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put uh, foam dots on the sides of my heart. So it'll kind of span it across without curving it too much. So let me just go ahead and do that. And I'm down to the ends of my dimensionals. So let me put one piece over here on this side. And one piece over here on this side. And then I'll just line it up so that the point is kind of down where my bow is for my pops on my pop stick, and the top kind of lines up with the top of that fold, like that. And isn't that so sweet? Now they can write to and from if it's a classroom treat on the back of it if they want. You can even punch out a white heart and write it on that and stick it on there, and that would be very sweet. But that makes a very fast favor for classroom treats or coworker treats. And as you can see, you can personalize them in a lot of different ways. I even have one in blue. They would make great little favors for a party or an anniversary or even a wedding in the colors of your event. So I hope you enjoyed the project today. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to be notified of new videos as I upload them. For more information on this project or other projects I've done, please go to rejoiceandcreate.com. And as always, until we meet again, may all your days be blessed. Bye.